Hi everybody, well this is it. I managed to sneak my last little uh, vlog in um, before I hand over to Diane tonight. Um, so this morning, it has been really, really busy today. I know I say this every week, but we have really, really been very, very busy. Um, had our exec this morning and I've just come off a two hour um, webinar with the CDO's department, England. Um, I'm doing this vlog, then I'll do a quick change and get ready for the AGM, which is starting at seven o'clock. So today really has been an extremely busy day. Um, obviously this week, um, it was the, the launch of Blue Lips yesterday and the continuance of the Mouth Cancer Awareness Month. So um, I know you're all behind this uh, campaign um, and there were some, some fantastic photos yesterday uh, of the, the Blue Lips. Um, exec this morning, we talked lots and lots of things, but some of the, th the points that um, were raised was the regional groups and their study days and how we're going to look at um, doing them next year. Because again, I think probably in March, we're unlikely to have face-to-face -face, um, study days. So we're going to be looking at that. So that's something that's going to be very exciting, hopefully. Um, and training for those regional group committee members. We've had a lot of change this year um, and when I came into post two years ago we had regional group training and, I, and again it's just now a, a little bit of an update um, for those coming into post. There. Again it's going to be done virtually so again I think it's going to be um, a great way of doing things. Um, I, I, it's really strange. I would not have thought I would have embraced so much of this virtual learning. I hated webinars absolutely with a passion. Um, but I'm really, really taken to them now. So um, there's, it's a great way of doing it. Can't wait to get back face to face. But in the meantime, they really do work. Um, and we were looking as well at the, our dental school visits for next year. We've already penciled in a few. Again, probably a mixture of virtual and if we can get in face to face, doing face to face. But there's always a way. Um, if, if this pandemic has taught us anything is that whilst one door is shut, another one is opening um, and we can look at things in a different way and do things differently. Um, there's always opportunities out there to do things differently. I also want to say um, happy International Men's Day. I know we're a predominantly female um, organi say organisation and profession um, with only 7% of registered uh, dental therapists being male and 5% of registered dental hygienists being male. So, um, but that number is getting getting bigger and bigger and we really do hope that all those men out there are having a great day. The CDO's meeting this afternoon, we had Joe Churchill, who is um, responsible for one of the, the MPs responsible for dentistry. And she was very, very, um, high praising for the dental services at the moment. She thanked everybody for everything that they've done at the moment and she does appreciate the difficulties that we, we are actually facing. She talked about um, her support for water fluoridation and for um, supervised toothbrushing uh, schemes. So, you know, whilst it's been a bit on the back burner, it is the she understands the difficulties and she knows the challenges, um, but she wants to be able to push these issues forward. Um, another thing that came up was that um, essential workers, and I'm going to read this because I want to make sure that I get this right. Essential workers applies to the whole team, dental team, that are delivering health and, and social care services. So um, we heard it from the... Um, from uh, Joe Churchill and from the CDO that we are and we do have the whole team has essential worker status. That's it from me. That's my last vlog. Very, very quick. Um, I've had a, a fantastic time as president of BSHT. It's been a challenging year, but it's, you know, it's it's worked out in the way in which that we have been able to support our members um, and, you know, look at things again, as I said, in a different way. Who would have thought a year ago I'd be doing vlogs? Certainly not me. <laughs> I would have run a mile. Point the camera at me, I would have run a mile. But, you know, we have to do things differently. Um, and 
I certainly, you know, the, the last two years have been, well, in fact, the last seven years, because I've been on, on exec since 2013, it's, it's been great. It's been a fantastic experience. I've had some wonderful um, experiences, met some fantastic people. Um, I've had some lovely messages of thanks. Um, and, you know, I, I couldn't have gone out um, feeling happier. So thank you, everybody. Um, and continue to support BSDHT and Diane Rochford.